Welcome to my YouTube channel. This is where I talk about all things beauty, which includes makeup, skincare, self love. And if so, that's the sort of thing that you enjoy, then please keep on watching. Today is again one of my favorite topics it's lipstick swatches. I'm going to swatch one of my favorite brands, which is Bobbi Brown. These are nine lipsticks three from the red color family, four from pink, two from the nude slash brown family. These are across formulations, and I will share my thoughts along as I go. First, I have a mini which is the bobby brown crushed liquid lip color in the shade smoothie move this is how it swatches this is how it looks it does give your lips quite a hydrated juicy feel but it's not very pigmented it does feel really nice and comforting on the lips it do it does have a glossy finish uh, and however, because it's because of the finish, it is also not long lasting. So definitely not ideal in these days when you always have to wear a mask. Next, raspberry, and this is from the Luxe Matte Lip Color range. This is how it swatches. This is one of my favorite lipstick formulations. It is creamy. It is highly pigmented. It is supremely soft. It feels like silk on your lips. So I really, really love this formulation and I'm waiting to get my hands on other shades from this in the same formulation. Next, I have the color Babe from the Crushed Lip Color range, which is I think one of the most popular ranges from Bobbi Brown. Looks very similar to raspberry. It just has a bit more orange in it or yellow in it. It's, it's just a lighter pink. This is interesting. This is pigmented, but it doesn't feel like you have color on your lips. It just looks very blotted. It does last a bit of time, but I think you will, but not more than four or five hours. The formulation wise, the problem with this lipstick, it has a waxy scent or feel, which I really don't enjoy using. And as a result, I don't reach for this off as often as I should. I also think this is probably a bit too light for me. And I can possibly make this work on my no makeup days. But um, I don't know. I don't think this looks as flattering as the other colors. What do you think? And next is my latest Poppy Brown lipstick. I've never really used this. This is... Uh, Avant, Avant Gardenia, yeah, can you see Avant Gardenia from the Lux Defining Lipstick range. And this is how it looks. It's so crazy, They're, it looks so similar but different from the other lipsticks. I'm super excited to try this one today. I love the way this looks. This is like the perfect pinky nude. Uh, I just wish it was more highly pigmented because I, you could see I had to go through this so often to kind of get this kind of shade payoff. But this is such a pretty color. Very nourishing, not drying. I don't know how this will wear, but uh, this is from the Luxe Defining Lip Color range. So these are all the lipsticks that we tried in order. The first one that we had was Smoothie Move. Second one was Raspberry, third one was Babe, and fourth one was Avant Gardenia. Next, I have the shade Toasted Honey from the Lux Lip Color range as well. This is Toasted Honey. It's like a pinkish brown, so I'm excited to try. Oh no! This washes me out, doesn't it? I think I've. this is the first time I've used it, so clearly this washes me out. I'll have to give this to a friend or somebody who doesn't mind using this. I think if you're um, two, three shades lighter than me or maybe a couple of shades even deeper than my skin tone, then I think you'll be able to work uh, with this shade. But if you're in and around my skin tone, this will wash you out. Quite a disappointment because I really, really love this formula. And when it swatches, it looks quite nice. So I'm really surprised. Hmm. What do you think? Do you think it washes me out? I think it washes me out, for sure. So we have a Hot Cocoa from the Crushed Lip Color range, similar to Smoothie Moo. And this is like a milk chocolate brown. So I'm excited to see how this will work. This is how Hot Cocoa looks. I think 
clearly this doesn't work with my current makeup but with something cool brown like a cool brown smoky eye i think this would look quite nice the fact that this formulation has less pigmentation is actually working in favor of this lipstick range next i have the shade ruby in the crushed lip color matte this is how it looks it's an amazing blotted lip color feel and because of the way this is formulated it lasts a while i really like the way this looks next we have crimson which is a luxe lip color this is more a maroon red and this is how it looks this is a perfect red to have when you want to you don't have time for much makeup you just want to slap something on and look alive i think this is a perfect red for that and finally we have burnt cherry from the lux matte lip color range and this is another red just a bit more burgundy this is burnt cherry from the lux matte lip range so you got the three reds here the first one is ruby from the crushed lip color range second one is crimson from the lux lip color range and third one is burnt cherry from the lux matte lip color range and there you have it i've tried to cover a lot of formulations not too many shade families nine lipsticks in total and i hope you enjoyed today's video i really always have fun playing with my lipsticks swatching lipsticks for you all i hope this helps you the next time you're considering your next lipstick purchase from bobby brown please let me know if there are any other brands that you would like me to swatch if i have enough number of lipsticks i will definitely make a dedicated video on that brand so thank you so much for watching if this is the sort of video that and that you enjoy please consider commenting liking sharing and even subscribing it really does wonders to me and my motivation thank you so much i hope you have a wonderful day wherever you are bye bye